everyone, I'm going to be reviewing this Total Temptations Mascara in the color of Berry Black. Um, I'm just going to jump right into this video and get started right away because I have no mascara or eyelashes on and I'm feeling like Kermit the Frog right now. So this says that 92% of users saw lengthened lashes, 85% of users saw bold, full volume, no overload. This does come in a waterproof formula, which I do not like waterproof mascara because I can never get it off. Claims to give you full fluffy lashes and it is new. It says so addictive on there. So I'm going to see if I'm going to be addicted to this product. And there's just a little picture of a before and after here. This is washable and it says lashes go on full, smooth and fluffy. Um, buildable mascara, which I like. I do not put on one coat mascara. As you guys know, I put on loads of mascara. It's a creamy whipped formula with coconut extract. So let's see if this actually smells like coconut. Um, the packaging is very simple, just like any other packaging that we would buy mascara in. And just gonna open this up. Pretty easy to open. And it is matte packaging, which is okay. Um, I really don't like matte finishes on my products just because they tend to get so dirty and fingerprint smudges from lipstick or foundation that we may have on our fingers. Um, let's just open this up. I'm gonna give this a smell. It smells just like regular mascara, a little sweeter. The wand looks really nice. That's what the wand looks like. And let me see how many, does this say how many ounces this is? This is actually um, 0 0.27 fluid ounces. Some gel got there. So I'm just going to jump right into this and I'm going to give you guys a little first impression. It looks like when you actually take it out, it does kind of leave some residue on the tip or I should say extra product so I just like wiping that off because I just don't want to make any mistakes and as you can see I don't know if you can see but look how much there was on there so come here and I'm just gonna apply I'm just gonna do one eye so we can kind of do a comparison so let's just see how that goes. So that is one coat and seems to be okay. Uh, my eyelashes are kind of far apart from each other. They're kind of separated. Um, when I use my other mascara, it kind of looks a little different than this. Actually makes my eyelashes look fuller, but I'm going to give it another coat and do some wiggling around and see if I can actually get them to look fuller. But they do look longer in length as you can see compared to this eye to this eye. So that's what two coats. Um, it seems to be pretty good. Um, I may want to come back later on and let you know if it does give you any fallout because sometimes when you have a mascara on that's kind of drying, um, it get, will fall out during the day. But this has coconut oil in there, so I'm not thinking that this product will do that. This is just with two coats on my eye, and it looks like a major difference. I mean, compared to naked to something, um, I will give this mascara a thumbs up and. 
I will let you guys know a little bit later on. Um, I'll come back in a few hours and I'll let you know how it pulled through. And I just want to thank you guys once again for watching. Thanks. Hey everyone, I'm back. So um, I actually wore the mascara yesterday and I thought, you know, instead of coming back just after a few hours of having it on because I did do some exercising last night and I washed my face too soon, but I did leave it on for a few hours and I did notice that my eyelashes were super soft. They wasn't dry and crusty. Like sometimes you can use a mascara and all of a sudden they're like so dry and crusty. If you just do this to your eyelash, you have fallout and black all underneath your eyes. This product didn't do that. I guess it's because of the coconut extract is kind of moisturizing. So um, I'm actually feeling my eyelashes right now. They feel super soft and they do not look like spider lashes whatsoever. Um, I went and applied this on my um, eyes today at around 8.30 or 9 o'clock this morning. And I have it on since um, maybe five or six hours already. I went and I did some grocery shopping. I did my housework and um just you know sat outside a little bit in the sun and i do not have any fallout i will zoom in and show you guys how it looks i actually fiddled around with it a little bit more today i took my time when applying it and i actually got them a lot thicker the way i like i only did two coats today um and usually sometimes i do three or four coats with my other uh, L'Oreal mascara that I use um, or my Too Faced one but I really do like this product it does smell really good it doesn't smell like just a normal chemical smell so for the price of uh, nine dollars I found this product to be uh, worth your time to go out and look for it um, uh, it took me a little while to find it I had to go to a couple of different drugstores and a Target to actually find it and the good people over at Maybelline sent in the mail a little coupon for it so instead of it being um, nine dollars and change I got it for around close to eight bucks so that was great so um, based upon this review of this video I find this product really good so if you would like me to review anything else um, any kind of other product whether it be beauty related or any kind of DIY please leave your comments down below in the comment section be sure to ring that little button so every time I post a video you will know that I have posted so thanks again for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon